Hi, I'm Mark from Teledyne ISCO and today we're going to show you how to run the AccuPrep HP150 with the auto injector. What you can see here is the AccuPrep Peak Track software. Uh, the graph at the top represents uh, absorption units on the left for your UV signal and on the right is the, the percentage B gradient. As you can see, we've already got a gradient set up from 10 to 100% B. Down in the left hand corner is where you would set the parameters for your run. So you would choose the appropriate size column which is set up in your, your method and in, in tools. There is a flow rate associated with the column and you select the solvents that are required for your purification. We give the sample a name and then we're ready to run the purification. In the bottom right hand corner you can also choose whether you want to collect all or just the peaks as detected by the system. So if we hit play, it will then give us our sample injection options. As you can see, it's already detected that the auto injector is there. And we then want to tell the system how much sample we want to load. In this particular case, we're going to use one milliliter of sample and we're going to do one injection. If we wanted to do multiple injections of the same sample, then we could simply choose to add a number of injections there. It's worth noting some of our other features at this point. So the post separation pause, if activated, will allow you to check to see if the first purification is successful before then going on to do a number of repeat injections. Fraction overlay is very useful if you're doing repeat injections as it will overlay the fractions between your individual injections, putting them into individual pots and therefore reducing the amount of test tubes that your fractions are collected in. So we hit the OK button and it, this is then our minimum run requirements screen which shows you how much solvent you're likely to use and the expected waste that will be generated and how long the run is going to take. If you have ELSD present then it will look for the gas and that's where you can check to make sure that there's enough gas supply for your purification and it tells you where it's going to collect your sample. All we need to do is hit start equilibration and it will equilibrate the column ready for your purification. It then asks you to place the sample probe of the auto injector into the vial of your choice. Equilibration is now complete and it's asking us to place the sample probe in the sample. As you can see here, I've done so with a small test tube. We can also use any vessel that you want, dependent upon the size of volumes that you're working with. So I press the OK button and it will then start the injection process. Now the one milliliter has been injected onto the top of the column and it will start the purification. Once the purification is complete, the system will then ask you to place a sample probe into a strong wash solvent in order to clean the auto injector. So for the strong wash, I'm using the B solvent. And once this is completed, it will then ask for a weak wash, which will be a 10% B solution. Once the wash sequence has been performed, it will then bring up the final run report for your purification, showing your chromatogram with the color coordinated peaks to the test tubes in which your fractions are in. From here, you can export this as a PDF or print to a printer. Thank you very much for your attention, and I hope you have a lovely day.